As we gather, may your spirit work within us. As we gather, may we glorify your name. Knowing well that as our hearts begin to worship, we'll be blessed because we came. We'll be blessed because we came. Mass intentions. Thanksgiving masses offered by a parishioner for favors received, Mrs. Pereira and Aditya Panavkar on his birthday. For the intentions of good health for all priests in OLPS Church, Mary Vargas and Clint Nunes on his birthday. Seventh-day Mass for Joseph Peter D'Souza, Man's Mind Mass of Joseph D'Souza, First Death Anniversary of Lutz Leo Fernandez, Death Anniversary of Robert Verke, For the Souls of Gilbert Govies, Ethelvina and Joseph Fernandez, Thomas Xavier Almeida, Abel and Idaline DeMello, Milton and Angela Rosario, Lawrence Pereira, David D'Souza, Doris Moses, Sheila, Tony and Nicole Brito, Eliza and Augustine Fernandez, Mr. V. O. Anthony, Francis and Rosia Fernandez, John Baptist and Magdalena De Silva, Francis Thomas and Rose Pinto, Mary Pinto, Camilo Merson, Johnny and Simon Dias, Dominic Mendes, Daryl D'Souza, John Victor Fernandez and departed members of family, Benny D'Souza, Inacio Barboza, Mr. Rajendran and Mary D'Souza, for the departed members of Royan, Telis, Da Silva and Roderick's families and for the souls in purgatory. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. And with your spirit. A warm welcome to this Eucharistic celebration. Today we redemptors remember the Spanish martyrs in the year 1936 a civil war broke out in Spain and with this the church in Spain was persecuted several bishops priests religious were persecuted were killed and among these were six redemptorists who were killed because of their faith as we remember these redemptive martyrs, we give thanks to God for giving us examples to live our faith. And as we prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mystery, we acknowledge our unworthiness and pray for God's mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us martyrs as examples of faith. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You give us martyrs who are courageous and give us that courage to face our trials and tribulations. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, give us that faith to live the lives that we are called to live. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. We pray for our own intentions. We pray for God's blessings on those who are celebrating the birthdays and anniversaries. We pray for people who are sick, that they experience healing in their lives. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service, 
grant we pray that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brethren, greet Prisca and Aquila, my fellow workers in Christ Jesus, who risked their necks for my life, to whom not only I give thanks, but all the churches of the Gentiles give thanks as well. Greet also the church in their house. Greet my beloved Epinetus, who was the first convert to Christ in Asia. Greet Mary, who has worked hard for you. Greet Andronicus and Junior, my kinsmen and my fellow prisoners. They are well known to the apostles, and they were in Christ before me. Greet Ampliatus, my beloved in the Lord. Greet Urbanus, our fellow worker in Christ, and my beloved Stachys. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the churches of Christ greet you. I, Tertius, who wrote this letter, greet you in the Lord. Gaius, who is host to me, and to the whole church greets you. Erastus, the city treasurer, and our brother Quartus greet you. Now to him who is able to strengthen you according to my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery that was kept secret for long ages, but has now been disclosed and through the prophetic writings has been made known to all nations according to the command of the eternal God to bring about the obedience of faith to the only wise God be glory forevermore through Christ Jesus Amen the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response. I will bless your name forever, my King and my God. I will bless your name forever, my King and my God. I will bless you day after day and praise your name forever and ever. The Lord is great and highly to be praised. His greatness cannot be measured. I will bless your name forever, my King and my God. Age to age shall proclaim your works, shall declare your mighty deeds. They will tell of your great glory and splendor and recount your wonderful works. I will bless your name forever, my King and my God. All your works shall thank you, O Lord, and all your faithful ones bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your reign and declare your mighty deeds. I will bless your name forever, my King and my God. Let us prepare our hearts to listen to the gospel. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Though Jesus Christ was rich, yet for your sake he became poor, so that you by his poverty might become rich. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Lord
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, make friends for yourselves by means of unrighteous wealth, so that when it fails, they may receive you into the eternal dwellings. One who is faithful in a very little is also faithful in much, and one who is dishonest in a very little is also dishonest in much. If then you have not been faithful with your unrighteous wealth, who will entrust to you the true riches? And if you have not been faithful with that which is another's, who will give you that which is your own? No servant can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and money. The Pharisees, who were lovers of money, heard all these things, and they ridiculed him. And he said to them, You are those who justify yourselves before men, but God knows your hearts. For what is exalted among men is an abomination in the sight of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear sisters and brothers, many years before I was working in a small parish, small poor parish, and that is one thing that fascinated me about a person. There was this parishioner who would come every Sunday and in an envelope he would put 500 rupees in that envelope and mark it as my tight and his signature SVS. The ushers who would help in this collection were quick to report to me that this is the person who unfailingly offers tithes to the church. One day after the mass, I happened to meet him and I was inquisitive how he was doing with his finances. I asked him, how are you? And how is life with you? And where do you work? And he said, Father, life is wonderful. I have, I am an outsider. I am staying in a rented places. I have my wife and my child. And I am working for a mining firm, Cesar. And there I am working as an ordinary supervisor. I, am, I earn between 15 to 25,000, depends upon the overtime. And then I was calculating in mind rent and child and this. I asked him, how do you manage your finances? And at this he said, Father, I do what I am supposed to do. And God takes care of the rest. I was amazed at the faith of this young man. My dear sisters, today the world has created a religion and there are many who follow this religion. This religion has a God. This religion has an idol, money. And people sacrifice themselves for lives at this altar of this idol. They have failed to enjoy things that they have, they own. Because all the time their concern is how to accumulate, how to increase, how to grow in finance. They have sacrificed their families, they have sacrificed their time, their children at this altar of this idol. 
and Jesus warns us in today's gospel. You cannot serve God and master. And that is what we very often try to do. We priest, religious, and the laity. We try to serve God and serve master and money, wealth. And that is why we don't have that peace in our mind all the time. This is the one, the money, who is dominating me, controlling my life. But that young man gave me a lesson. I do what I am supposed to do and allow God to do the rest. We pray in the Eucharist for that faith, that spirit. May lead us to do things what we are supposed to do and let everything in the hands of God. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer you. Fruit of the wine, work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that this my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation, and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is fully right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion and so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he, blessed is he, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke it 
and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith Save us, Savior of the world For by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and a chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Oswald, our Bishop, the Auxiliaries, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer in times of coronavirus. Mother of perpetual help, with the greatest confidence, we come before your picture to beseech your intercession. We think of you, Mother, at the foot of the cross. Your heart must have bled to see your son in agony. But your joy was great when he rose from the dead, victorious over the powers of evil. Mother of sorrows, Pray for us in this time of trial. Help us not to lose heart. Intercede for your people who are afflicted with coronavirus. Comfort your people who are vulnerable and anxious. Protect healthcare workers who put their lives at risk. Inspire our leaders to make good decisions. Change our hearts so that we may act responsibly. Teach us to trust in God's love and mercy and to share with you the joy of having courageously faced up to all the challenges of life. Amen. Mother of perpetual help. Pray for Amen. us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Let us join in singing the recessional hymn, You Have Everything. You have everything when you have Christ. You have everything when you have Christ. You are filled with God through your union, through your union with Christ. He is the highest ruler with authority over every other power. He is the highest ruler over every other power. You have everything when you have Christ. You have everything when you have Christ. You are filled with God through your union, through your union.